map and set are two new data types in JavaScript, and they came to make our life easier. Hello, my name is Thiago Tempo, and this is Tempo Code. Let's start with map. Map is a data type used to store key value pairs. The simplest way to use map is to instantiate it with the new keyword. And then we can add the items to it using the set function. Then we can check if a key exists with the function has. Or we can retrieve the value with the get function. If we set the same key twice, the value will be updated. It's also possible to delete an entry and to check the size of the map. Finally, we can empty map with the clear function. The map constructor accepts an array with other arrays as key values to initialize it. And we can use any kind of value as a key to a map. Even objects can be used as keys. Of course, the reference to the object is what is used as a key. We can also iterate over maps. Let's start iterating over its keys. We can iterate over the values of a map. We can iterate over the entries in a map that will return an array with the key and the value of the map. Finally, a map is iterable, so we can iterate directly over it. The default behavior is to return an entry. Now, let's talk about sets. A set in JavaScript is like a map, with the exception that sets don't have keys. As with maps, we can create sets with the new keyword. We can add elements to a set. We can delete an element. We can check if the set has an element. We can check its size. and clear it. We can also initialize a set using an array. And of course, we can iterate over a set. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.